Folks, I'm going to turn this over to our artist tonight. We're going to start up with Dan Roden. Dan, take it away. Let them know about your song. Let them know what the title is. And shake it off, man. These people are here just because they want you to do good. Yeah. I say that because you try getting up here and doing this, right? Thank you, everybody, for seeing us at Grinder House. I'll be back and talk to you in a bit. All right, this is a song I wrote about uh, how music has the ability to uh, take you back, to recall uh, feelings and where you were uh, when you heard that song the first time. So this is called I Don't Ever Want to Hear That Song Again. <laughs> Have you ever heard a song come on the radio That brought you right back to a time in your life Where you didn't want to go Well, I heard that song today The same one that played on the first night we laid in bed and I held you in my arms So much hope I had Now that hope is dead I don't ever want to hear that song again There are so many things I still want to know from you Did you give up on me too soon? Oh baby, did I give up on you? And it's so hard to fall asleep alone I leave the radio on, lie there till dawn Turn it off if it comes back on I don't ever want to hear that song again When I hear that music It reminds me of how it felt to be with you I could see you dancing in that sundress If that that you had on Baby, you had on I don't ever want to hear that song again I know that I can't go back Back to a time when our love was intact how can feelings still be so strong When it's been over for so long Baby, so long I don't ever want to hear that song Ever want to hear that song I don't ever want to hear that song again Thank you. Nice. Randy, you ready? <laughs> Everybody, Randy. Actually, Randy's local, and, and you're working over at the Arts Library a little bit, aren't you? Uh, with a songwriting group they have there. We, we uh, formed a, a songwriting group, uh, a circle, uh, that meets monthly at the Art Circle Library. Awesome. And uh, you come and uh, sing a song, and we give feedback on the... Everybody gives feedback on the songs to, to, with the goal to improve, improve your song. <laughs> Excellent. That's very cool. Well, go ahead and get started with your song. Let them know what we're doing. Okay. Um, anyway, um, this is tough. <laughs> uh, th th this is a, a story song, and um, uh, it's about a um, it's and it's a love story um, uh, between a man and a woman, 
and um, it's from the, the man's point of view. <clears throat> Headed eastbound out of Hollowbird Cut in her boat, Madeline and I love so much. Cross the Gulf Stream's four foot waves, throttles down and steering straight. A special trip to Green Turtle K on this bright blue Bahama day to that little marina where we first met and been back a thousand times since then. I'm gonna have fish from the sea and an ice cold red striped beer at her favorite place. Madeline and me would let the world disappear to shoot in the breeze under the shade of a pink shack on the beach. And just like us, time it keeps on traveling. My Madeline From African jungles to the heart of London She taught me how free a spirit can be She's my wandering lover Like pirates we discovered The treasure of our memories I can taste that salt spray in her hair Hear her laugh as the boat launches into the air Staring deep into the ocean blue She bears her soul to the solitude I'm gonna have fish from the sea And an ice cold red striped beer At her favorite place Madeline and me would let the world disappear to shoot in the breeze under the shade of a pink shack on the beach and just like us time it keeps on traveling my madeline at the gulf stream's edge we drift for a while I hold her one last time and cry like a child. I take a deep breath and let Madeline free. I scatter her ashes in the deep blue sea. She's now at home where she wanted to be, swimming with the dolphins like she did in her dreams. But she'll always be with me every trip that I take. Her name's on the stern and a fresh coat of paint. Madeline, Madeline, my lovely Madeline. Spread your love around the earth for all the world to see. I'm gonna have fish from the sea and a nice cold red striped beer at her favorite place. Madeline and me would let the world disappear to shoot in the breeze under the shade of a pink shack on the beach. And just like us, time it keeps on traveling. And just like us, time it keeps on traveling. Oh, Madeline. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Good job. <laughs> nice job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, next up we have Kendall. Kendall, uh, you know this routine, man. And Kendall actually, uh, while he is, he plays a lot of places around Cumberland County. Yeah. And uh, we're just super excited to have you. Thank you. To here participate. Have at it, Kendall. Everybody. Thank you. Kendall Ad Adema. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Asa. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to do a song for you called Ghost Girl. I, uh, last Halloween, I got to watching all these scary movies, supernatural type movies, and uh, came up with the idea of a, a gentleman sees a ghost, and the next thing you know, this ghost has decided to move in his house. So um, the song's called Ghost Girl. Hope you enjoy it. girl in the garden what are you searching for are you still waiting on your lover to return home from the war are you still searching for salvation did someone lead you astray then the ghost girl in the garden in the midnight fog she fades away And I don't know where you came from Or all the places that you roam Are you still looking for your home out there? Hope you find yourself and make your way back home Ghost girl by the window With eyes of fire and skin so fair I watch you gaze into the distance But are you really even there? I hear you singing in the parlor An angel's voice so soft and clear When I come in for a look-see a ghostly lullaby disappears And I don't know where you came from Or all the places that you roam Are you still longing for that life you lived? Hope you find yourself and make your way back home Ghost girl in the graveyard Upon her tombstone it read I wish that I could live forever Cause it's so boring being dead <laughs> Thank you Excellent, excellent. I guess it would be. <laughs> Born being dead. <laughs> Whistling's not easy in a song either. Yeah, I, got, I got dried out. Yeah, man, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah you're going to get dried out. That's the first time I whistled live ever. So there we go. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Everybody, there is a correction in, in the... In the Program. Duh. See, this is what happens when you get old, man. I mean, one minute you got it in your brain, next minute you run into the restroom. <laughs> All right, that wasn't that funny. Um, yeah. We've got um, a misspelling on the last name of our, our next contestant. Dylan Obrea is what you see in the, in the uh, directory. Dylan Gage. So, man, I don't know how I got that far off, but, dude, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. G-A-G-E. G-A-G-E. Dylan Gage. Everybody, a warm welcome from Dylan Gage. Thank you all. As much as you guys love to hate it, I'm coming in from California. I've been here since the Monday after last. I'm visiting my, uh, my dad. So, no, I didn't bring sunscreen either. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> anyway, uh, I wrote this song on the back of his gator. I was just sitting outside. I was like, you know, it's pretty nice out here. It's a lot better than Cali. So, this song's called Cumberland County. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Nice.
My back is aching, my bones are shaking in this February wind. Yeah, it's cold, but I'm not so on ever going back home again. I'd rather stay right here in Tennessee, in Cumberland County. It gets hot in the summer, but their heads get hotter when you head out yonder to a place called California. They run you off of the roads and they step on your toes, even when you got your head down, minding your own. I'd rather that be a distant memory. Here in Cumberland County Got an angel out here that's come to save my soul But I can take her back home So I plan to stay right here on the porch with the beer and my old man. Those of you who ain't been here too probably wouldn't ever understand. The sunset in the trees. The whistle and the breeze here in Cumberland County. Yeah, here in Cumberland County. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, that's our first round, and uh, judges are compiling. Well, we're about ready to get started with our second round. Unfortunately, in your uh, uh, program, you'll see Barbara Murdoch. She did not make it in, and so she won't be in this round. Barbara Murdoch. And I don't even need a script to introduce these guys. I know every one of these jokers. <laughs> All right, well, like I said, I, the, each one of these guys I've, I've met personally and have played here at Grinder House. Um, and I'm just going to get right into it. My far right, your left, uh, James Crawley. James, um, a nice warm welcome for James. Center stage, Hal O'Dell. And since Barbara's not here, seat three, Robbie Myers. Right? We're going to start off now. Look, all these guys are great. We're going to start off with James. I could start in the middle, throw you guys a loop, but we won't go there. We'll start with James and just work our way right down the road. Uh, James, have at it. Let them know what the song is, the title. You know this role. Thanks, man. James Crawley. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. Uh, hey, Paul, you may have to, uh, when I start singing, you may have to pull it up a little just because it uh, starts out a little small um so yeah i uh i recently took on a full-time job uh for a nonprofit um here in crossville and some of you may have heard of it. it's called the house of hope and uh we work with abused kids and uh, just at risk uh the at risk child population um and I wrote this song, uh, well, well, let me say this, my job now, which I absolutely love, reminds me of uh, the years that I spent back in the early 2000s when I worked as a, um, a, a musician and a missionary. Um, and what we used to do, it, and I, I lived in Nashville when we did that, and um, we worked in the, area, the worst area of Nashville, the worst neighborhood at the time. Um, 
and we just we literally literally laid our life down um, for the people in that neighborhood. And it was a time that is always, to this day, I say that it hugely impacted my life. And so this song uh, is based off of the the street that our neighborhood was off, which was called Joe Johnston Avenue. And so if anybody here from Nashville knows where Joe Johnston Avenue is, right off of Charlotte Avenue. And uh, if you were from Nashville, a.k.a. not a more of a native, I should say, then you'll know that neighborhood. Uh, but it's called Joe Johnston Avenue, and um, hope you enjoy it. Just some broke musicianaries on the right or wrong side of town. I searched all over Nashville for the broken and the bound. But there were children killing children on the streets we swore to love. But we made music in the chaos and gave them peace instead of blood. Those were the years worth living. When all was spent, we just kept giving. Gave everything and we shined the light of love. If I ever need reminded what it I'm supposed to do Take me back where I can see Joe Johnston Avenue I can hear that train still blowing and the sirens in between. And broken glass and needles and cocaine fills the streets. I kept a promise in our pockets of a better place and time. Well, kindness never ceases and the world is colorblind. Those were the years worth living When all was spent we just kept giving I Gave everything and we shined the light of love These are the years worth living When all was spent we just keep giving We give everything and we shine the light of love If we ever need reminded of what we're supposed to do. If we ever need reminded of what we're supposed to do. Let's change our minds so we can find Joe Johnston Avenue. Uh, this guy's a storyteller right down the road, and I, I don't mean I know some of these folks better than others, so I don't mean to sway anybody's impressions, right? We're staying all very professional here. <laughs> Everybody, give a nice come to the county war for Hal Adele. Hal, take it away, buddy. Thank you, thank you. So this song. Uh, I wrote with a couple of buddies of mine, and um, we've written every Wednesday morning like clockwork for the last two or three years. And got a young uh, rodeo cowboy named a Rodeo Shea, name of a Rowdy Shea. We've been writing with a little bit. He wanted to write a song about uh, how a, a man ought to treat a woman. You know? So we chewed around on that a little bit and thought, well, you know, why do you treat anyone or anything right? Well, it's because they're precious to you, and. So you have to know that they're precious, and uh, this song is about, uh, about that. <laughs> Shut 
showed up at her front door. Her dad said, come on in. She'll be down in a minute. Let's sit for a second before your date begins. He wasn't cleaning on no shotgun. He didn't try to scare me off. He didn't preach like I expected. He just began to talk. He said, I cried when she took her first breath. I was there for her first steps. I'll see her in those pigtails every day that I got left. She's my heart. She's my soul. She's the light of my whole world. So remember, when you walk her out that door, she's so much more than just a girl. She's her mama's only daughter. Got her grandma's middle name. She came three weeks early, already in a hurry on the day our whole world changed. He said, I ran beside her first bike. I taught her how to drive. I say I love you way too much, but I mean it every time. She's my heart. She's my soul. She's the light of my whole world. So remember when you walk her out that door. She's so much more than just a girl. She walked in the room. I stood up and shook his hand and saw a girl through a father's eyes and began to understand that pretty blonde from English class was so much more than that. Don't believe me, just ask her dad. He said, I cried when she took her first breath. I was there for her first steps. I'll see her in those pigtails every day that I got left. She's my heart, she's my soul, she's the light of my whole world. So remember when you walk her out that door. Please remember she's so much more, so much more than just a girl. Thank you all. Thank you all. Really appreciate that. Well, um, thank you, Hal, very much. Um, our next contestant in line here. And you know what? I, I'm going to say people do this because they have to. I, you know, in understanding an artist, and, and I, I paint and I sculpt and I do that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> You have to do it. It's something you got to sit down. You got to write this song. It, you, you've got to get it out of you. You've got to. You've got to do it. And I hold them in high regard. I, I, I really do. This is. Uh, it's not easy. And then it's not easy to get up in front of people and perform it. Anyway, I'm giving Robbie a little minute to remember all his lyrics. Right? <laughs> I'm the young guy, so I understand. <laughs> Because that's another thing. I don't know how they do it. They come up here for two hours and play songs, and they remember every lyric in every song, and I'm like, I don't even know my social. <laughs> Everybody, give a warm welcome to Robbie Myers. Robbie, take it away, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Asa. Yeah, to, speaking of that, James and I, before we walked out here, we were talking about, you know, we've, we've both done performances before. I, I played in a, a bar in Cookville last night to a bunch of drunk college kids, and... A little different than tonight, you know. This is a little different. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do that uh, three times a month or whatever, and I play other places, uh, like, you know, I'm a bar singer on, by night. But uh, you sing in bars, and after a while, it just turns into a second nature. But you get up here, and you're like, oh, God, I can play my song? Okay, let's get ready for this. It's a little more, little more nerve-wracking. But, uh, but, yeah, this, this song... Uh, this song I wrote a couple of years ago while I was playing at a bar, and uh, a buddy I had seen, I hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, he, I saw him walk in the door at the very end of the show, and I'm like, oh, man, you know, that you're that guy. But anyways, I was like, good, good to see you, man. And he sat down, and I played a couple songs, and he just looked a little odd. It looked a little off. He came up to me after the show, and he was like, man, uh, 
can I just get you to play one more song for me? I was like, what's wrong, buddy? He's like, well, my, my ex-girlfriend just walked in here, and uh, she's got her new man with her tonight, and I just don't want to go home, man. Can you play me one last song? Threw 20 in the jar, and I was like, boom, one last song. So this song is called One Last Song. That's what this is really about. He was sitting at a corner booth in the back of a smoky bar room peeling labels off his butt light all alone he had a look upon his face that told me why he was in this place why he had a lonely tear in his eyes and with every chord i strummed he began to get more drunk on the alcohol and the songs that I sung. For the set came to an end. He walked up through a 20 in. He said, could you do one thing for me, my friend? Don't play about leaving or sing about cheating. Don't want to hear about a love done wrong. Don't want to hear about lying, cause you'll see me here crying. Trying not to dial her on my phone. I don't want to go home. Play me just one last song. said man those words they touched my soul cause I was there six months ago when she told me I had to choose her love this here microphone so since you see me on this stage tonight you know I don't want to play about leaving or sing about cheating don't want to hear about a love done wrong. Don't want to play about lying, cause you'll see me here crying. Try not to dial her on my phone. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. I'll play you this one last song, just one last song, I don't want to go home. So mister, here's your one last song. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Melissa Ellis. Hey. Thank you. Chair two, we have Billy Kemp. Billy. Thank you, AC. Chair three, we have Eric King. Eric. And here in chair four, lovely Lauren Freyhoff. 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 I knew I was going to mess it up because I told myself, you're going to mess it up. You're going to just mess it up. Freyhoff. And we got the German wall right here. We, not the Berlin wall. It's the German wall. We're all got German heritage here going on. Everybody, I'm going to get started with Melissa. Melissa, take it away. Do I introduce myself? Yes, please. Okay, so my name's Melissa Ellis, as he said. And I'm a jazz blues artist, and uh, this is a song I wrote um, about that unbridled passion for somebody, you know, that yeah. gut-wrenching, you gotta have them kind of thing. It was about my husband, and this... <laughs> <laughs> that works out for me, right? Uh, but the song was called Dirty Little Secret, and it was because it was a combination... I know, that sounds horrible, right? But... Um, 
It was because we were in a band together. We didn't want everyone to know because when you mix, well, I don't want to say music and pleasure, but like work and pleasure, it doesn't usually bode well for everybody else that's involved. And uh, it was one of those things where I wanted it to last longer and I didn't want it to be a secret. I didn't want it to be dirty and I wanted to just be with this guy. And of course, I can call it a dirty little secret because uh, it's not dirty. We're married. We've been married. We We share four kids and it's not a secret. Because I wrote a song about it. (laughs) So here it goes. I was rendered breathless when you walked into this place. Unreserved captivation as I looked and saw your face. Such a fool
Thank you. All right, Melissa. It's Melissa Ellis, everybody. Okay, I, I'm standing back here and I realize my back's been to y'all the whole night and now I feel like, okay, this is wrong. It's just wrong. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, that's all we've had to look at. <laughs> Crying out loud. Well, um, moving right along, let me introduce uh, Billy Kemp. Billy, take it away. All right, Asa, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for showing up tonight. We're having a good time. We had a really good time in the green room, didn't we? Um, I grew up in a little town in the state of Maryland, Baltimore. I know, I'm almost a Yankee. Uh, but I've lived here in Middle Tennessee since about 2005, and I love it here. Uh, I want to sing a song, actually, for Lauren's father. Lauren is from Colorado, and we just met, and um, she was telling me about her dad, who is a farmer. Uh, and um, I just so happened to have picked the song that I wanted to do tonight about, are you a farmer? All right. <laughs> are, oh, oh, you're the dad. You're Dan. <laughs> Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, Dan is here. <laughs> well, Dan, thank you for your work. We, we, we couldn't survive without you. But this is the story of a farmer who farmed during the 1920s and 30s. Not an easy time of the, to farm. Uh, his name, the farm, this farmer's name uh, was Roy Pollock, and he had a wife, and they had five kids, and they moved around a lot because his farming just was going bust everywhere he was. And, you know, he, like a lot of us, Roy thought that just a geographical change was going to make everything better, and so he would always tell his family, look, the next place we go is going to be the promised land. And... Uh, this is a song called Janesville, and Janesville is in uh, California. And I co-wrote this with a friend named Jeffrey Himes, who also is in Baltimore. to catch a job at the hired hand I'm going down to Janesville without warning some folks say that it's the promised land This withered town with fields of brown has finally won me down My hopes are dried up and they've Blown away, Janesville has a river where the water tastes like wine, and they say the sun shines every day. I'm going down to Janesville in the morning, try to catch a job at a hired hand. And some folks say that it's the promised land Well, I don't know, but I've been told It never does get cold In Chainsville it's springtime All year round They say the soil is rich Just like chocolate in your hands Drop a seed And the plants jump from the ground Try to catch a job at a hired hand. I'm going down to Janesville without warning. Some folks say that it's the promised land.
might be true or untrue, but what else can I do? There's nothing left here to be done. If I don't leave tomorrow, I might never get away. Look out, Janesville! Here I come. I'm going down to Janesville in the morning, try to catch a job as a hired hand. And some folks say that it's the promised land I'm going down to Janesville in the morning Try to catch a job at a hired hand I'm going down to Janesville without warning Some folks say that it's the promised land The promised land the promised land. Woo! Yeah. All the farmers out there. Hey! And Dan. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Billy. Thank you very much. Billy Kemp, everybody. Next we have on our round is Eric King. Eric, take it away, man. Let them know what you're doing. Thanks, Asa. Thank uh, you, sir. I grew up next door to Billy. <laughs> Cut my teeth in the bars out there playing and uh, writing songs. Um, started in the early 90s. And uh, <clears throat> this song I'm going to do, um, a friend of mine, a friend of a friend, we were just having dinner and drinks and all. And he said, so, Well, how do you write a song? We can write about anything. I said, Well, yeah, you can write about anything. And we're sitting there having, you write about this plate? You can write about this glass, this fork, uh, this. I said, no, not really. I don't think you could. This wine. I said, well, yeah, you could drink. You could write a song about the wine or what the wine does to you, or the whiskey or whatever. When you, when you get it in you, that uh, sitting there talking to him, it said, uh, you know, this little devil will pop up on your shoulder. And so I go, okay. Well, next time I see you, I'll have a, I'll have a song for you. And, and I did. And uh, this is kind of what came out. It's called Whiskey and the Devil. Just a little bit colder 
yeah. Blame it on the whiskey and that devil. The whiskey and that devil on my shoulder. That's not me, is what I told her. Last night got a little bit crazy, but now I'm sober. And if it seems to you that I'm just a little bit colder, blame it on the whiskey and On my shoulder I had to mess up one more. Thank you so much. Eric King, thank you, man. Thanks, thanks. Nice job. Wow. Okay. Sweetie, you ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, Lauren Freehoff. I get it right this time. Hey, awesome. My name is Lauren Freehoff. Uh, my dad is Dan, the farmer. And I'm from eastern Colorado. And uh, we drove all the way up here from out there to come do this. So I'm really excited to be here. Uh, the song that I'm going to play for you tonight is called Fragments of a Stranger. I wrote this back in September um, uh, during an identity crisis. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> That's all right.
Wow. <laughs> okay, this is really cool. So the genres that we get to see tonight is really awesome. But I gotta say, you know what? I never expected to hear that. She's four inches away from the mic. Lauren, that is awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, well, that concludes round three. This is round four. And we've got, um, I'm sorry, Daryl Wallace in seat one, Sandy Allen in seat two, Rob Patton in C3, and <laughs> Carolyn McGowan, right? McGowan That's in right. C4. We're gonna start off with uh, this round with uh, Mr. Daryl Wallace. Daryl, tell us a little bit about yourselves and a little bit about the song. Shake it off, get something, you know, yeah. Okay, my name is Daryl Wallace. I'm uh, originally from Knoxville, Tennessee. Grew up here in East Tennessee, happy to be here. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, y'all can do a lot better than that. How you doing? Yeah. Want to thank everybody here at Grinder House for putting on this incredible show tonight. Thank all our fellow singers, songwriters for being here, sharing their talent. These are just fantastic times. This song that I'm going to do for you all tonight is uh, one that I wrote about growing up in East Tennessee. You know, not everybody was lucky enough to grow up here but everybody's from somewhere and they have special memories of being at home. And that's the name of this song is Home. Hope this takes you back to your special place. Home ain't always where I lay my head. Home ain't always where I sleep in my bed. Thousand miles away, small town down the road. No matter where I find myself, there's no place like home. And home's where Papa taught me how to fish. And home's where I stole my first kiss. Home's where I learned to drive and wrecked my first car. Home is where I learned to play guitar. Home is where I learned to walk before I learned to run. Home is lazy summer days just laughing in the sun. Home is chasing lightning bugs mesmerized by their glow. No matter where I find myself, there's no place like home. where I found my amazing wife Home is where we live a wonderful life Home is where you'll find us hand in hand as we grow Home is where they'll spread our ashes one day when we're gone Home is where I learned to walk before I learned to run Home is lazy summer days just lapping in the sun. Home is chasing lightning bugs mesmerized by their glow. No matter where I find myself, there's no place like home. No matter where I find myself, there's still no place like home. Thank you, Daryl. That was awesome. They couldn't hear me in the back because I don't get in the mic. I, I'm sorry, folks. We got it turned up a little bit. Daryl, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. We're moving on to Sandy. Sandy Allen, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and the song you guys sang. 
Okay. I'm from a little town not too far from here called Sweetwater. Yeah. 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 And uh, I've written just as long as I can remember being able to write. I was disappointed when I came home from my first day of school and I didn't know how to write. I thought that was just awful. <laughs> and uh, one of my first poems I remember was, Why Did God Create Sweat Bees? And I still wonder that. <laughs> but anyway, somewhere along the line, they turned into songs. And this song, uh, you hear a lot of people say their songs are sort of therapy and that's what I say about this song. And so instead of having a crying fit, I can sing this song now, and I, I feel better. It is called... <laughs> well... <laughs> well, here I am. Well... Sandy. Ooh, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> oh, no, man. That was fabulous. That was really, really, really great. In the really last great. bunch. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I yeah, know. So you've been sitting down there for like three hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even give them checkers or anything to play. <laughs> Not a deck of cards, nothing. There, get in there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandy. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Rob Patton. Rob, take her hey, away, man. Let them know who you are. All right. Well, I want to tell y'all something. We have had so much fun here tonight, back in the in the shack, if you will. It is so cool place. We, you would not believe the songs that we've heard in, in, in there while everybody was working on it and warming up. It's just been a blast. Uh, I'm going to do a song tonight that I wrote with a buddy of mine years ago. Kind of, a, it's a bar story, you know. Uh, there was a, a place here, you local people will recognize it, the ones who are not local, you will recognize it too because you had one where you were, somewhere. 
This, this place was the Red Dog Saloon. I don't know how many of you remember it out here, but it, it was one of those. They didn't. I'll tell it in the story or tell it in the song. I have many stories to tell about this place, but anyway, I figured I'd go with this one. All right. Well, I'm a bartender. I'm tired and I'm mean. And I don't care if my glasses are clean. Well, since you right down now and order a beer, or you could have anything that you might want here. Well, now I'm a bartender at the Red Dog Saloon. Hey, where are you going and why are you leaving so soon? It's just a little big sticker and a cold 45. So what makes you think you could leave here alive? We don't open till 12. We don't close until 4. Because that's when as doggers we go to war. But all that they really want is one more free beer. Yeah, now I'm a bartender at the Red Dog Saloon. Hey, where are you going and why are you leaving so soon? It's just a little pig sticker and a cold 45. So what makes you think you can leave here alive? in here. There's a few rednecks galore. We got a bouncer 6'8", and he guards the door. Well, there's a newbie comes in every now and then. Nobody starts nothing, cause they know they can't win. It's just a little big sticker and a cold 45. But what makes you think you can leave here alive? Yeah, hey, what makes you think you can leave here alive? Yeah, hey, I mean, what makes you think you could leave here? You're right, man. There's one everywhere. <laughs> Ron, Absolutely. thank you so much. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Thank you. Okay. Certainly, last but not least, <laughs> Carolyn McCowan. Take it away, sweetie. Thank you. Gosh, you guys have been in a great audience, I can tell, and I'm glad that you've warmed up a little bit and maybe had a couple beverages out there. Uh, my name she is did. <laughs> uh, my name is Caroline McGowan, and I am a singer-songwriter, um, and I also do a little bit of artist stuff as well, just for me. Um, definitely indie and still kind of growing myself, but um, I love music so much, and sometimes that takes a form of pop music, sometimes that's country music, Sometimes it's Americana or somewhere in between. But um, one song that's uh, really near and dear to my heart is this one that I'm going to play for you. Um, it's a country song. And um, there's so many great drinking songs in country music. But for every drinking song, there's the other side of that story sometimes, too. Sometimes a drinking song, um, what's, when you're out at the bar, can come home and uh, maybe be another woman's mess to clean up. <clears throat> so... This is a, a version of a, a, a version of the truth. Um, but one of the beautiful things about 
uh, writing songs is you can take something that wasn't a beautiful experience and turn it into something that um, can connect people and also feel like an expression to yourself. So um, thank you guys uh, for being a wonderful audience tonight. I think I'm your last songwriter of the night, so thanks to Grinder House and to Asa. And thank you guys for, you know, leading up for me, and uh, I'm excited to play for you. So without any further ado, uh, this song is called Whiskey Lies. <laughs> Y'all didn't have to wait very long. We have uh, the results from our, our judges. And, and I remind y'all who our judges are. Two-time Grammy winner, Carl Jackson, who has worked, yeah, man, who has worked with. You go and look at the list on this program. That's just a portion of it. I couldn't fit it all on there. And you know, then I thought about it. I said, I bolded their names and not your bio. What was I thinking? I bolded in the text their names and not the bio, uh, not their bio, Carl. It's about the I know. <laughs> it's like it's all about the. No, man. And uh, Del Nora, you know what? I'm going to put her on the spot because she put Mo Pitney on the spot. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Mo Pitney came in here to play. Uh, not to play here. He's playing at the Palace. Del Nora was on stage, and they're texting each other. They're texting each other while, while she's on stage. 
And Mo Pitney's in the house. Mo, you're like famous, man. Come on. Come up here and play a song. So Mo got up on stage and played a song. I'm going to have down the Lord. We have a guitar that we can plug in. What? Can I? Can I? This is really bad of me to do, believe me. I would, but I'm going to do it because why not? Delmore <laughs> Reed, everybody. Oh my gosh. Blank page. Well, I was looking down to see if I even had my fingernails cut. <laughs> yeah. It's been before Christmas. I mean, um, I went, I went home, and you guys, uh, all these sad stories. Um, I went home, and I, uh, I cared for my grandmother. Um, from December 12th, I was away from my boys for a month, and uh, it was a little over a month. I, Mama was a tough cookie, I tell you. She, she, uh, she passed January the 10th. She went to be with Jesus. I got so shaken. Ah, but you know what? You said, I heard, um, I think Sandy said it, uh, the songs The songs are your therapy. And they really are. It was a lot cheaper for me because I have ADHD. And it was real difficult for how many hours have I been sitting in that seat? For real. I'm like, and most of my songs are, are real calm because if you saw me and my personality, ah, so fine. <clears throat> Hmm. Surely. Anyway, I'm not the guitarist, but Mr. Carl Jackson. Y'all give it up for Carl Jackson again. I'm not worthy to play this instrument in front of you. But as you know, I'm a songwriter. I'm mostly a singer and a songwriter and uh, not a guitarist. I'm a singer-songwriter who can play her song somewhat. But this song is number one right now. And I'm just going to say that a couple more times because I don't know if I'm ever going to get to say it again. It's number one on Cashbox. Like you said, it's called Blank Page. If I were a blank page, I'd want you to be the pin. And whatever you'd want written or just write it in. Fill the chapters up with stories worthy of your glory. I know you could make my choices make more sense if you were the pin. I'd begin again if I were a blank page. Not my guitar. <laughs> As I look back on my past, there's a lot that I take back. But every day your mercy comes, easy as a morning sun. And what's done is undone. Cause you're never ending love If I were a blank page I'd want you to be the pin And whatever you'd want written Or just write it in Fill the chapters up with stories worthy of your glory. I know you could make my choices make more sense. If you were the pen, I'd begin again. If I were a blank page. Now I'm not meant for carrying what I should lay at your feet. What you did up on that cross wipes me clean each time I fall. You're the reason that I breathe and I can't help but think
If I were a blank page, I'd want you to be the pain. And whatever you'd want written or just write it in. Fill the chapters up with stories worthy of your glory. I knew you could make my choices make more sense. If you were the pen, I'd begin again. If I were a blank page. Now I don't feel so bad. Why would you feel bad? Well, well fortunately up here is really your night off. Other than yeah, and I haven't played in like a month. I'm just saying. yeah. Don't bring your guitar. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you all. Don't know where to read everybody. <laughs> this was really tough. The judges, man, we stuck them in the kitchen. <laughs> it's been a hell of a night for them, let me tell you. They've had it rough. Um, we stuck them in the kitchen so they could think and not have all this noise around us. I don't know what I'm doing with this mic. Um, and it was so funny because they compared pages and they were like, okay, I've got the same stuff. So it was really pretty unanimous what was going on. And uh, we're going to start with the alternate. So everybody, and then it's this way I can build, you know, the, the drama. Uh, so let's see. Can you read my handwriting? Yeah, I got it. Beat, beat, beat. <laughs> alternate number one, Billy. Where's Billy? Is he here? Billy, come on up to the stage. Come on up here, brother. Billy Kemp. Take a spot on the stage, man. We're going to get some pictures and everything up there. Alternate number two, Lauren. Freehold. Awesome. And she came here all the way from Colorado. Right? And all the way from Baltimore. <laughs> well, by way, of liberty. Yeah, by way of liberty. All right, so our two winners that are moving on to Puckett's Grocery is uh, James Crowley. Woo! Dude. <laughs> Carolyn McGowan. Carolyn, come on up. <laughs> right? Guys, and, and this is just, it's been an incredible night. I know that we've, we've put a lot on all of you to hang out down there and, and then come through the car. They had to walk up here. It was like, okay, so we don't have a proper green room. But thank you. Incredible work. All of you, incredible work, man. I mean, it was like goosebumps after goosebumps. It was really, really incredible. And I want to thank you all so much for participating. These names will go out tonight. You'll be contacted by the state. They'll let you know when the schedule is in Puckets for you to be there. And uh, obviously, if there is someone that can't make it from the winning circle, then they're going to reach out to you. So stay tuned. All right. It's happening. Everybody, thank you. You know what? It was really important. It's really important. You know, they've talked a couple times about music being therapeutic. And I think we all know this, that when you put a song on, man, it changes all kinds of stuff going on. It changes. And it is really medicine. And I can't tell you how real it, that is for people that are afflicted with all kinds of diseases, let alone just being abnormal like me and putting on, it, putting on a song and remembering stuff that went on in the past and just the feeling that you get wanting to get up and dance or just whatever music does to you it's it's really medicine and thank you all so much for coming out and supporting live music and these artists that spend their life writing these songs and getting in front of people and saying okay man they're gonna like it or not like it and the judges know this they've gone through all of that through all their career <laughs> and we witnessed it so um, keep that in mind when you see live music make it a point 
to support those artists and to support that venue because it's tough out there these days. It really is. And uh, thank you for choosing Grinder House to be a part of that. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you.